Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 3 Legend of the Super Delinquent. In the last episode, we discovered that Beryl is apparently in love with someone. It's totally Mal. I am calling it right here. And so, we are going to chase after her while she goes about her business. Real quick though, uh, I forgot to get this guy before we started this, so I went back through Barrel's story and got him. That's all. I also ended up getting another uh, gold knuckle sphere and a Vato sword in the process, so... Mm. It's handy, I guess. Hesitation Deception. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to cross that street, Beryl. The elderly across the street. Miss Beryl is such a nice person. I found him, Asuka. That old man must be him. The target of Our Lady's first love. <laughs> Ladies, you do not know very much about shipping. I'm just saying. Really? I never thought the target of her love would be an old man. Isn't this the street crossing from the human world? What? What do you think that? This barrel was just helping him. You know, a delinquent being a delinquent. What have you been looking at? The way she delicately held his hand, it's the technique of a girl in love. <laughs> sure, whatever, let's just roll with it. I mean, you guys all know how this guy is by now. Come to think of it, I think I sensed her love coursing out from her fingertips. You know, it's a crazy kind of thing. <laughs> the characters never make any sense. It's like the Toho fairies on steroids or something. That's a good eye. She has never held our hands the same way we saw her holding that old man's hand. You know what? I would totally love to see that. A Toho Project and Disgaea crossover. It would be awesome! Well, yeah. I mean, you two are young. <sighs> that old man. That old man is Beryl's first love. I must dissect him now. <gasps> Mal, you are getting kind of creepy. Just saying. He's all excited again. Have you already forgotten about your last mistake? Everyone just relax. That is true. Let's get confirmation from that old man this time. Excuse me, sir. I want to ask you something. You were just holding hands with that young lady. I was just wondering, what is your relationship with her? <laughs> holding hands? Oh, that cute young lady. <laughs> she forcefully helped me across the street. Helping an old geezer like me? What a terribly delinquent girl. Never mind. <laughs> Future me, delete that. I couldn't stand her hospitality, so I gave her a charred newt and she let me go. I was relieved that she seemed satisfied. <laughs> Even the old men don't like being helped. Getting annoyed by hospitality. You truly are a model netherworld senior. <laughs> At least now we know. Just happened to meet Miss Beryl, so he can't be the target of her love. I understand now. He must be our lady's true love. How did you get that from what he said? Were you even listening to our conversation? Come to think of it, our lady receiving a gift from a stranger, and on top of that, being happy about it, inconceivable. That old geezer's potential is off the charts. He will be well worth experimenting on. <laughs> 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 
after I'm done unraveling the secrets of love, I'm gonna make him run a hundred miles per hour! <laughs> you heard what we said, sir. So get ready for what's coming for you! <gasps> I'm sorry, sir! <laughs> Let's get back into the territory of the patently ridiculous. We have a sun staff here. How good is that? I want to. I want to check that out. Excuse me. Oh, you also have one. I think I'm gonna steal it from the old man, though. Did Roger? Okay, I'm guessing that's just a random name. I don't know. Here. <clears throat> See, that's how you help people cross the street. <laughs> you throw them like it ain't no thing. That's the netherworld way. Also, here, have some fists to the dog. I have got to figure out a better place to put my microphone. It's, like, never right in front of me, so my voice is always really quiet. It's kind of a pain to edit. <laughs> Alright, let's get Carmen out here. So she can steal from an old man. Oh. Well, never mind. You know what? I'm just going to look up the rarity of a sun staff to see if it's worth it. I highly doubt it is. 24. So, not even worth my time. I could just buy it if I got lucky enough. Die, old man! Sticks. Don't cross it, sir! Come back to us! Wow, Alaz is freaking out like yeah, you know what? Alaz is being Chucka Conroy. <laughs> the voice cracking, the freak outs, it totally makes sense! This is my new fan theory. Before he dies, we need to make Beryl confess. Otherwise, there's no point in fixing him up. In that case, do what you will. We have no more use for him. Uh, Kyoko's voice actor, are you okay? What? Does that mean he had no relationship with Beryl? I told you so! I just remembered that charred newts are Our Lady's favorite food. Of course she would be happy. Let's try to remember these things beforehand. That means this geezer has no love power. He's just a regular geezer. Oh well. I'll be content with making him run only 50 miles per hour. <laughs> you know what? I think everybody has a different voice actor in this story. Huh. Don't fix him up at all! He's just an innocent old man! Oh, we have wasted our time again. Let's get going, Asuka. We can't lose sight of our lady. You're right, Kyoko. But although we're in a hurry, as model delinquents, we mustn't make an illegal U-turn. At least apologize before you take off! Okay, let's see what we got. Celestial Rye, that's not all that great. Later, Rod! <laughs> see you later, everybody. I'll be back next time with more Disgaea 3 Legend of the Super Delinquent. 
I am running circles around you, Asuka. How do you like my ninja skills? Wacha! Hua! Ya! Hu! Wa! Haya! Hu! Ha! He! Hu!